hi all we are painting today a still life painting start with painting leaves uh, here i'm using a yellow with sap green drop a little bit of sap green here and there as a reference photo as in reference photo the other leaf too same color i'm using You can paint a uh, background first and then start with the objects. Here I started the objects first. Drop little bit of sap green, little darker shade to just give little depth and value to the leaf. The third leaf, it has a little shadow of the leaf on its left. Lift the color with the brush, use clear water. Same here, leave some colors. In the reference photo, it's a white uh, tablecloth. So I'm using watery gray. in mind some reflections and the shadows paint accordingly very light gray I'm using in watercolor you build the layering from light to darker shades so use very watery gray you can always build darker shirts later cover the whole area Now we'll start with the orange. I'm using a yellow with little orange. The light is from a left, uh, so it's more of a reflecting light. So it's a light shade. On the opposite, it's little darker shade I'm using more of orange on right side
soften the edges same with the other orange and start with the yellow drop in little bit of orange color the reflective area light and darker on the right side there is a leaf behind that leaf it's darker green sap green and for darker shade I use uh, sap green plus cerulean blue same color with the stain darker edges going for other uh, layer another layer of orange use clean water to cover the area now with the jar it's a teal color I mixed uh, viridian green and little blue cerulean blue cover the whole area of jar with the same color little darker for the shadows I use serene blue there now lift the some color for reflections on jar use clear water every time for handle I'm using little yellow ochre and green very watery I'm just glazing the another leaf with watery green lifting the same color from the same place same with the other leaf
the leaf is dry now and again we are going for another layer of darker shades use little cerulean blue to your green make it darker using watery green for the layer pick some color there you got little blooms water blooms there on the jar use little darker to teal color to show the shadows more darker on the edges here also we are using cerulean blue darker cerulean blue with little bit of red show the shadows I put one background layer of black little reflections with yellow color uh, we are going another layer for oranges I use clean water to cover the area drop little orange color here you see the shadows it gives little depth and value to the object just dots here and there not many details some shadows of leaf and stem will do darker shadows for the leaf and stem some spots on oranges same with the other orange wet the whole area with clean water the first layer is dry so you can always apply clean water again drop some orange some spots here and there with orange A little darker tones 
water color always dries a little light then you paint some spots steam uh, with the same darker green and sap green vein using little darker tones to touch touch ups some details You always adjust the color tones and little details how much you feel like. A little more green I added there. <coughs> Excuse me. Here also added little green. Little gray. I'm outlining the and correct some blooms with clear water We are layering the jar with watery thin color. Keeping the reflections as it is. Add little details of darker tones, edges. Here I'm going for another darker tone. It's a back of orange jar has darker shades. This is background part only. I'm 
pasted Soon it will black, same background part will cover that in second layer. Some shadows I'm adding. A darker cerulean blue and red. Shadow of leaf and jar itself. Cerulean blue. These are all shadows, steam. I'm using reference photo. Watery cerulean blue. <coughs> Adding level layers of black. Just more touch up on oranges. Darker tones. just to address the whole color tones of the painting i'm using a little yellow to both the paint oranges Adding little more on shadows to adjust the tones. Some assessment of tones and you just adjust the values. I'm adding a little more orange. Lift up some of the color. 
just to give it a texture of orange detailing the edges of jar using darker cerulean blue for the handle another layer of uh, yellow ochre and little green watery for the handle if you see there is still space for darker shades you can always go for it adjust the tones for overall composition of your painting add it a little more cerulean blue Some texture to orange. And the painting is almost done. Let's reveal the final painting. Thank you for watching the video. I want you also to try this. And let me know in comment. Happy painting.